Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be doing something that's very minuscule change, but I think will make a major difference. And if you have one of these trucks, an OBS Chevy, yours is probably doing this too. So, what we're gonna be doing is painting our wiper arms because as you can see, Yes, I have to have a stool because I'm short. This paint is just flaking off and doesn't look too good. And neither does all this. Future things might be coming, maybe, just maybe, uh, to make all this look a little bit better. But I'm not sure. And pretty much all the change we're doing today is going to be right here. I'm actually probably going to take the old custom offset sticker off because I am over it. Because I don't think it looks good that, it, that good anymore. And being how I don't have huge rims on this truck anymore, I maybe won't have them. Pretty sure I'm going to go through the trade. But... That's a good thing about having it with a family member. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Tell me whether y'all like the bubble look or the big rims. Let me know down in the comments. And first thing we gotta do is remove these. So I gotta figure out how to do the one and then I'll show y'all how to do the next one. So I set the other one kind of side by side to this one where you can see all it is is that little clip you can see it loosens up right there and then after that the only way to really get it off if it would focus is to just wiggle it and jimmy it all you need is a flathead screwdriver to remove this clip and that's it I thought I was gonna about to break something, but that's all it is to it. Let's see if I can be smooth here. This clip is very contrary. Just pull it out. And like I said, you think you're gonna break it. Just about, just about the time it comes out. What you don't wanna do is hit your glass like that. And I don't know why Chevy did it, but you can see right here, it hits that spot. That should be far enough. So, as I said before, and you can just fold it up. There you go. Like I said, just don't hit your glass like I did right there. And that's all there is to it. Normally, if you're doing this on any other truck, normally it will not have this guide right here. I think, or as far as I know, OBS Chevy's the only one that have it. You can see it slides in right there. But if you're doing this on a different one, I suggest you find the way where it fits flush against the glass, jimmy it up just a little bit, and then make you a mark on both of them. But, going to jump in the shop here and show y'all exactly what we're using on these all right next thing you want to do is remove your actual wiper blade as you can see here real simple push this tab in i'm gonna try and do this one-handed push this little tab here in and just pull down i don't know if i can do this one-handed the struggle is real Okay, let me set this down and see if I can do it here. I don't know if y'all can see that there. Unclip it. Get it to go around. I have no idea how good a demonstration that was, but hopefully it was one. Now, we have both of ours right here, 
And I think I wanna try and go ahead and remove some of this old paint. And I do not know if I'm actually going, if I have any primer. Um, this is honestly a slap together job doing it right now. But anything's going to look a lot better than this. So let me go find some sandpaper or something to scuff this up with and then I'll be right back. I didn't have the sandpaper that I wanted. Uh, a finer grit would be per perfect for this, if I could speak. But I used what I did have, which was one of these rust and paint remover wheels which is probably the best way to do this because you can get it down to bare metal and then use a self etching primer, which is what I am going to do, except I'm not gonna take it, I'm not gonna spend the time to take it all the way, every single part. I've got most of the big spots except for that one. But we're just gonna throw this one out of the equation for right now. And um, I did not show doing this because you are literally just doing that with the wheel so if you don't have that that's perfectly fine get yourself some sandpaper and go to town but like i said uh self etching primer this one's out for now i will show you the process for this one i'll get the primer but before i do you actually want to use isopropyl alcohol wipe it down get everything clean make sure you use a clean rag and that's about it. This is a simple thing to paint, honestly. But like I said, isopropyl alcohol, rub it down, and then I'll get the primer and the paint. All right, now that we have rubbed it down with our alcohol here with a clean rag, go ahead and start hitting over primer. Shake it up well. Like I said, it's self etching, any self etching primer will work. The lighter you are, the better it's probably gonna turn out. Any color is fine also. Like I said, just try to be light with it. So I'll probably do one more coat after this, and then we will get to our color, which is our, I know shop's a mess, Black Mitt GM colors. So pretty much all that's left is paint reinstall. For the lack of kind of showing you what I was doing, I was racing, it being dark, and then also our lovely Louisiana weather. So I'm about to show y'all guys the finished product, which relatively simple, you know, we just painted them black. Does look a million times better. I accidentally deleted my before pictures, so can't do that. Drop the ball here. But I'm gonna try to stick to this relative update, but I'm gonna try to stick to like one week schedule, like uploading every Monday for as long as possible. And I have a video idea that I want some feedback on. I have some plans for the paint on this truck. As you can see, um, it, it's, it's horrible. That's thing got to the point where I literally can't stand it. So if y'all would like for me to make a video on that, I surely will. And thank y'all. We're almost 200 subs. I'm ready to get there. And thanks for hanging around, supporting me. And I'll see y'all in the next one.